So in this video, I'll just be walking you guys through the process of how I customized my home screen and lock screen with iOS 14, and I'll also show you guys almost all of the new cool hidden features of iOS 14 as I'm going through it, and just a bunch of different tips and tricks that you can use to make your iPhone look aesthetic, and also just the really cool new features. Okay, so after I installed iOS 14, and to do that, you just go to settings, go to general, and then just click the software update option. Make sure you've cleared your phone though so that you have enough space to get it. So after I installed iOS 14, I headed over to Pinterest to get my photos for my theme. So I just searched on Pinterest a bunch of different like fairy tale garden, garden, cottage core, those types of photos. But next I went to Google and I searched up pastel green wallpaper and I ended up adjusting the color a little bit in photos by just increasing the saturation because I wanted it to be a little bit more green. So after that I headed over to the app called PixArt and started to customize my wallpaper. So I decided to use a solid color wallpaper because I wanted to have my app covers look like icons not pictures which I'll explain to you guys a little bit later but yeah so I needed to have a solid background color alrighty so now I'm going to the app store and getting the apps widgetsmith and color widgets since widgets are one of the main new features of iOS 14 so the widgets are essentially just like stickers that you can put into your home screen and they can be photos they can be calendar quotes games and widgetsmith and the color widgets apps let you customize your widgets and make them match the style you want so first i went into the app color widgets and i made a pastel green date and time widget as you guys can see here so the way that you add the widgets to your home screen is by holding your finger down and just holding it down on the home screen until it starts shaking and then in the top left corner you click the plus button and it'll pop up and give you a bunch of options for adding in new widgets and then what I did to get the color widgets one was I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled and scrolled all the way down to where it says color widgets and then I selected the medium widget option so now I'm customizing the app covers for my apps. So there's a pretty big variety of options for this. So you can choose to just make your app covers different pictures, for instance, like you guys can see here as an example, or you can make custom icons for your app covers. Here's an example. And I went for this style where it essentially looks like an icon rather than a picture, but it's actually a full picture. It just blends in with the background. So when you're looking at it, it looks like they're just little icons rather than the full square picture. And for the font that I used for my apps, I went to the website quirt.dev. I typed in the name of the app that I wanted to make the app cover for. So for instance, you could type in Instagram, TikTok, whichever app you want to make a new app cover for. And so then I typed it in and then I scrolled all the way down and just copied the font that I wanted. So once you've got your app cover pictures and your copied font, you head over to the app shortcuts and then you want to go to my shortcuts, which is on the bottom left you click all shortcuts and then once you get to this page you just click the plus button at the top right so once you're there you click add action then you press scripting press open app click choose and choose the app that you want it to be to open to then press the three buttons at the top right and click add to home screen so once you're there you then paste the font that you made from wherever you got it from, but I got it from cordy.dev. So I pasted the font in and then I added the photo cover that I wanted for that app. So now the app cover looks like this. And when I click on it on my home screen, it takes me to the app. So this is basically like a duplicate app with just a different nice cover and font. So then I did this over and over and over and many, 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 many times and for all the apps. So next I added in a pastel green calendar from the app Widgetsmith. So again, I just went to the app, I clicked on the small widgets, and then I added in a customized calendar with a white border. Mm -hmm. 
And so I decided to make this first page for all of my social media and entertainment apps. The second page is for all my school apps. And the third page is going to be for all of my miscellaneous apps. And then at the bottom bar, I have the phone app on the very left, Google Chrome in the middle, and settings on the right. Oh, and also really quickly, a new feature of iOS 14 is that you can make the Google Chrome app your default browser now instead of Safari if you prefer it. Since I like to use Google Chrome more often, that was a nice option. So now that I finished with the first page, I decided to hide pretty much all of my apps as well as two pages of my apps. So two great new features I want to talk about really quickly with iOS 14 are the ability to hide pages and the new app library. So to hide pages, you just hold down on the screen, you then press on the scroll button at the bottom. After that, you just wanna make sure that the pages you want are visible by making sure they're checkmarked. And the ones that you don't want visible and you wanna hide, you just have them as uncheckmarked. And this way the apps and the pages are still there but they're just not visible and you're only going to see the pages that you want on your home screen. So you can also hold down the scroll buttons and then drag them really quickly to navigate from one page to another which is just another cool option. And then finally the app library is where you scroll all the way to the last page to the right and that's where all the apps on your phone are automatically organized so you can easily see them and access them if they're not on your home page. So I decided that the concept was going to be that the front page is kind of like a cottage garden breakfast. As you guys can see, I had some honey and some tea and cookies so I could just imagine, you know, sitting outside at a table and, you know, reading your book and going through your letters and drinking your tea and having, having your cookies and honey and there's butterflies flying around everywhere. So then the second page is the garden walk. So basically it would be the pathway that would lead you away from your house or your cottage into the woods so that's kind of what I was envisioning with the second page so and the front page was also like very pastel but the second page was a lot more emphasis on green and just a lot brighter tones and so for the third page I decided to make a fairy tale lake theme so basically once you leave the cottage you go on the pathway you end up in the fairy tale lake sort of area of the forest where there's a bunch of lakes and little pads and flowers and it's all mystical and so on the third page I added three photos and I also made my first widget stacks so to make a widget stack you just take one widget and you just drag it and put it on top of another one and that will make a widget stack where you can just then scroll from one to photo to the other or one app to the other as you can see I can now change the photos of the widgets because I made them into stacks So now that I finished customizing all the apps and the photos for my third page, which is where all my miscellaneous apps are, I decided to customize the search area when you scroll all the way to the left. Here, I decided to add the Hey Weather app, which is just a really nice weather app with great icons and also their widget looks really cool. So of course I had to add it. So next I added another widget stack by once you press plus add widget, I scrolled down and clicked on smart stack and I then customized it to have the music I played last, current location, and weather. And so lastly, I added this game called Steve, which you can also find on the app store and is essentially just a dinosaur jumping over objects to get coins and it's just really fun and cute and I wanted to add it also to the search area. So next, I made the lock screen of my phone into a 25 second video. So first you get the app video to live on the app store. So after I downloaded that, I went to my computer and I made a compilation of the clips that I wanted to play in my lock screen. So since I decided to use the aesthetic of a fairy tale garden, I just decided to use footage from my grandparents' garden and also from the nature outside of my house. I then made a little video compilation of those clips and air 
airdropped it to my phone. So next I went to the video to live app and I imported the video that I wanted. I then chose which portion I wanted to be the cover and I pressed down uh, on the bottom bar and dragged the cursor to that portion and then clicked make cover. I then pressed the convert at the top right and converted the video to live photo. So finally I went to the wallpaper section of my iPhone in the general in the settings and selected the newly converted live photo. So now when I hold down my finger on my lock screen, it plays the 25 second video and it just, I think, looks really cool since it kind of matches the actual inside of my phone. And also the most seconds you can have is 30 seconds. So just keep that in mind. Don't make your video more than 30 seconds. Look at that butterfly! Wow! It's so pretty! 